Oh my god, a fudge on fleek. I never thought Cosmic Brownies had enough right? of the colored chocolate candies on top, so we're compensating for that right now. Jamie, you got <laughs> something there that I might be interested in. You might be very interested in this. Today we are paying homage to Arguably the best little Debbie snack cake, which is the Cosmic Brownie. If you were a kid growing up in the 70s, 80s, or 90s, I mean, this what was in your lunchbox every day. They're delicious, but we're gonna totally flip them on their heads today and make a healthier version. Do we have to? We're going to. <laughs> okay. We're gonna throw in like an 80s playlist and we're gonna break out these nostalgia foods. get an almond butter that's smooth and pretty runny. It's pretty liquidy, so it's gonna pour well and stir well into our brownie batter. Bone broth. We are not using bone broth. It's exactly what I want with my brownies as a side of bone cartilage. Cold brew coffee. We're going to add just about three tablespoons. It's gonna amp up the natural chocolate flavor and add a nice little buzz while we're at it. Pitted dates, these are gonna be the sweetener in our frosting. We're just gonna blitz them up with some coconut oil and cocoa powder, and then create a super smooth, sweet frosting for our brownies. Let's get back from the store. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's do it. Do the thing. Let's make some brownies. We're starting with two eggs. We've got two different kinds of sugar, just some white granulated sugar, and we've got some brown sugar to add a little bit more of that deep kind of caramel-like flavor. And we wanna whisk this pretty, aggressively. The more air that we incorporate into this batter, the more of that kind of crackly brownie crust we're gonna get. We're making a flourless brownie today, so there's not gonna be any flour, there's no leavener, there's no dairy in it. Mainly because we wanna try to get the most dense, fudgy brownie as possible that's gonna emulate the texture of the cosmic brownie. Jamie, kind of a subject matter expert concerning cosmic brownies. Are they your favorite Little Debbie snack cake? Yeah, I think so. My favorite Little Debbie cake is an oatmeal pie, which was actually the first Little Debbie snack cake to ever hit the market, fun fact. It's like the old lady version of Little Debbie. Kind of, but they're delicious. Next, we're gonna add in some of our almond butter. This is gonna be what's gonna add a nice dose of heart-healthy fats to our recipe, and it's gonna help amp up the moisture and overall fudginess of the brownie. Not only is this slipping in some heart-healthy fats, but we're also getting an extra boost of fiber and protein plus a little calcium and vitamin E. So a whole slew of extra nutrients that are not in the original Cosmic Brownie, I can guarantee you that. Next ingredient is three tablespoons of cold brew coffee. You can do regular home brewed coffee that's just chilled, but just make sure it's brewed extra strong. You want that nice coffee flavor to help accentuate the cocoa in the recipe. And then we just got a little dash of vanilla extract. The star of any brownie recipe is unsweetened cocoa powder. We've got a fourth a cup. With any sweet baked good, you need a little bit of salt to help bring out the sweetness even more. Honestly, I think the best raw batter to eat is brownie batter. I could eat this entire bowl of brownie batter. It's already looking like a prize. That was a ninja move. I get the bowl. You get the bowl, I get the spatula. Look We're gonna need to take like a 10 minute Look what I get. Pause. Saving this guy. For me? For off camera. <laughs> We're gonna pop these in the oven for about 24 minutes and then we'll get started on the frosting. We're starting with dates. We've got eight medjool dates that we let soak for about 30 minutes to help break them down a little bit. Mix in a little bit of liquid coconut oil, some cocoa powder, double the chocolate, double the fun. We're gonna start blitzing this up and I'm just gonna gradually pour in a little bit of warm water just to help everything kind of break down and smooth out. You have to use the world's smallest blender. Mm -hmm. Cute. So it's super smooth and creamy. And this is the kind of frosting you would never know actually is made of dates with no added sugar at all. Brownies! Mm. These look perfect. We've let our brownies cool for about 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and start frosting them. And give this a nice slather. Slather, sounds like your favorite 80s rock band. Brownies! Oh, there he goes. What? The final touch is the bright electric sprinkles. I wanna do a sprinkle. You can do a sprinkle. You get a pinch. Are Actually, you gonna throw it? Sprinkler. Don't throw no? it at the brownies. <laughs> Look at that. Do a Mr. Perfect Salt. placement. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and break into these bad boys. Look at that. She's a beaut. Do you wanna try it? Yes. See how we did? 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just like dancing in place. I feel like Freebird is playing right now in my head. You know? It should be playing. Why is it not playing? Yeah, eat one with me, Jamie. Okay, I'm on it. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Jamie, I think little Debbie would be really proud of I what think you've she, just done. I think she would too. I think we nailed it today. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like our Facebook page at The New Healthy with Jamie. Share with your friends. Comment below and let us know what recipes you would like to see us make over next. And we'll see you in the next video. See you next time. Dream.